How we doing? I'm doing okay. I got a rabies shot today and my arms hurt. Well, I got a tetanus in one, bam, and then rabies in the other, bam. So my arms are useless right now. But anyways, so I learned about something pretty interesting this weekend and some of you guys may have heard of this but I personally hadn't so I thought I would make a video just kind of elaborating on it. So multiple mini interviews. Um, I spoke with a girl who she's a part-time student. Get back there. Oh my god. <laughs> um, she's a part-time student at my job. Part-time worker at my job and um, we just kind of got into conversation and she had just interviewed at Virginia Tech School. Um, Virginia Tech's vet school is actually called Virginia Maryland Regional College of Veterinary Medicine. It's the longest name on freaking earth. Um, and it doesn't, how do you even like eh, V, V, M, R, C, V, I don't know, to me it's silly. But anyway, so she had told me she had just interviewed with Virginia Tech and um, she had done the multiple mini interviews and it was something that she wasn't expecting um, I guess that they inform you beforehand like that that's the style that they're gonna do but there's not a lot out there um, as far as like practice interview questions because from what I've read she didn't tell me this before from what I've read you have to sign a confidentiality a confidentiality agreement because for whatever reason so I thought that was pretty interesting, um, but from what I've read and what, from what she told me is that um, she went in, there were eight stations, and what you do is you go up to one station and you get a, whatever the topic is or question or whatever, situation, and you get two minutes to kind of just sit there and like think it over, you know, mull all your ideas through your head, um, figure things out. And then you go in there and you have six minutes to talk to the interviewer. And I guess I could see how this would be a little bit more beneficial um, than just sitting there like, so why do you want to be a vet? You know, because anyone can BS their way through those questions. All you have to do is practice enough. But from what I've read is that a lot of the scenarios, too, aren't things that you're going to expect. Um, it's going to be, like, let me see, I, I have a couple websites. I'll put them in the, um, in the comments below. But generally, the situational questions posed in an MMI, MMI touch on the following areas. Ethical decision making, critical thinking, communication skills, and current healthcare and societal. So, oh, societal. I'm really tired right now. Don't judge me. Um, issues. Um, and then another thing also. Um, let's see. Where was it? They said, one station we had had a box with just a hole for my hands with a stuffed animal inside of it. We needed to describe what we were feeling, and then once we were done feeling it, we had to draw it. Other years had different physical type tasks, but maybe specific to the school I was at. So, stuff like that, I think, is just kind of funny. <laughs> like, the idea of, well, one, I can't draw. So, you're going to have, like, a little bear, like, <laughs> you know, so... I don't know, um, but that's something that, you know, is something good, you know, I, I'm not sure what schools do that. I'm going to dig and do a little bit more research um, and try to figure out which ones specifically do it, but something else I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to find people who have done interviews, like I have this one girl I work with on Fridays, and she interviewed at K-State. Um, she interviewed at Ross, which is a Caribbean school, which she just did a Skype interview with. So, like, it wasn't anything crazy. She could have just not even worn pants if she wanted to. Um, and then my the girl from Virginia Tech. So, I'm just going to try to find people who've actually gone through it sort of recently. Um, I don't know if I'll, like, because I, I don't know any of these people. Be like, hey, be in a YouTube video. Um, but I may kind of run through and ask them some questions and write it down and then make specific videos towards each school that I can find. Um, so, but just something interesting um, to think about. So, if you are somebody who's better at, like, on their feet, like, whatever, then word. Like, you're going to definitely be in an advantage if you're in a situation like that versus kind of like the eye to eye you know just sitting down talking 
Um, I like to think I'm pretty good on my feet. Um, but one, one thing that I definitely want to make sure I'm doing is whatever my, my, um, my purpose statement, <laughs> what I write in there, what they do is they talk a lot about health issues in that field. Um, so I need to start, that's something that I'm not really doing right now is reading about a lot of the medical stuff that goes on. Like I know, um, with like livestock, pigs, cows, stuff like that, that there's a lot of herd issues and I've, I've looked up diseases with that. But I'm really starting to lean towards equine medicine because I freaking love horses now. Like, yeah, I love horses. And um, I also love pigs, though. Like, I'm torn. I don't know. But uh, but either way, so that's something. If, 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 if you're good about, you know, thinking about ethical stuff, on your feet which I think a lot of people are okay at it as long as you kind of what are you doing sorry it's Bo he's just like ah, he's scratching I've been putting some cocoa butter on him lately um but yeah so like for me like I feel like I'm pretty good with ethical stuff because that's the kind of things that go through my head a lot with wanting to like really be involved with animal welfare um but some people may not you know so just I don't know. See what your strengths are. See what your weaknesses are. And definitely improve on your weaknesses. So for me, I need to get better with my medical stuff. That's my goal starting, we'll say Friday. <laughs> um, so anyway, so yeah. So MMI, check it out. Look at some of my links. Um, I did run across this one YouTube video. I'll put the link of that also down there. Um, I don't remember... But it, it's, it's a professor, it's like an admissions dean or something like that, dean of admissions. And he's talking about the things they look for. It was kind of informative. So anyways, um, yep. So I guess have a wonderful Tuesday. Oh, by the way, rabies vaccines. There's so many rumors that go around about those. Like, I thought I was about to get a shot like this big in my stomach nine times. Like, it's not. It's one shot. It's like a normal sized needle. It just hurts. I'm pretty sure people lied to us as kids so that we wouldn't just like go around and be playing with raccoons. So, anyways, alright. Until next time, see ya!